Welcome back everyone. Now we have completed regression problems. We have all also looked into what is bias and variance and what is the trade-off between a bias and variance. Now let's jump into classification problem. Previously we have seen that supervised learning can be uh, broken up into two kinds of problems that is regression problem and classification problem. We have already gone through regression problem. Now we will start with classification problem classic uh, classification problem is a supervised learning technique that is used to identify the category of a new observation on the basis of the training data basically uh, let's take an example where we have a bunch of shapes so all of these shapes we have and from this shapes we are training a model so this might be our model machine learning model or our algorithm or algo and from this model we are able to predict the circles the plus so that is what a classification pro a classification algorithm does whenever we have a problem where we have to find if a person will be male or female let's say we are given an example of a website so let's say you are a data scientist and you have been given a task of uh, you have been given a data from an e-commerce company and you have to find if the person is male or female so in the data it has been given some products information about some product maybe uh, let's say a shirt and a jeans and some price of it something of it and it says male same and something for female so same thing it has been done for 10,000 previous values from this 10,000 training examples you have to train a model which will be able to predict whenever we give any kind of product it will be able to predict if it is a it will be a male or female so that we can just get out uh, what should be our, our target audience be so there are two types of classification one is binary classifier and another is multi-class classifier binary classifier from the name itself if the classification problem has only two possible outcomes then it is a binary classifier let's say uh, mostly the result will be yes or no then uh, male or female male or female uh, spam or not spam spam or not spam we have cat and dog these are binary classifier where we have only two values then we have multi-class classifier if the classification problem has more than two outcomes then it is called as multi-class classifier let's say uh, we have to define from the image we have to find what kind of animal it is from the five classes or the type of crops the classification of the type of music or from uh, classification of your handwritten digits so let's say you have zero to nine digits and you have to find it uh, what kind of digit it is from our model so that will be a multi-class classifier these are the different kinds of classification problems now again we have two kinds of learner in classification problem one is lazy learner and one is eager learner lazy, lazy learners firstly stores the training data set and wait until it receives the test data set whereas the eager learners develop a classification model based on the training data set before receiving the test data set just as we could see in this entry so the different kinds of algorithm that we will be learning in this section is logistic regression uh, dysentery classification random forest classification support vector machines k nearest neighbors and name bias all of these algorithms will be touched in this particular section we'll start by logistic regression then we will jump into the tree uh, classification problem then svm then k nearest neighbor and then name bias now remember that uh, we will be using the same data set for most of the stuff okay also we will try to give more and more assignment problems so that it becomes more easier to have a glimpse of other data sets also so we will be using a mix of both same data set as well as a mixture of data set so let's take one of the example before just ending this video a spam classifier email if most of the emails you might have seen in your 
uh, Gmail account if you're having there will be a lot of spam messages that companies send you out so you can detect a machine learning model what it will do is whenever you give out an email it will just predict if it is a spam or not spam so this is uh, email spam detector model that's how our classification algorithm works now before just ending this part in our next video we are going to learn about the different evaluation metrics from which you can check how good your model is so let's jump into our next video